All right, um, we're in a Hyundai Ionic, and we're, we're gonna be installing the open pilot. We're gonna start off uh, by removing this cover uh, that's uh, on the uh, stock camera system, and with the with the Hyundai, it's pretty easy. You just pop, grab a hold of it at the very top over here, and pull uh, down, and it just pops right off. Um, there's nothing much holding uh, this up and uh, what we're interested in is uh, this connector here and uh, go ahead and push this clip down and pull out and depending on your car uh, you'll also be getting a harness for your comma AI and uh, you just want to go ahead and bypass that. So that'll just insert here. This will just insert there. And be sure you hear the click. These cars, because uh, if it doesn't sit all the way flush, then uh, you're gonna have issues. So. All right, so this can actually just stay here. There's actually quite a bit of room, and you want a test fit of uh, where you need to place this box. Um, so you should be sure you test fit. I'm gonna be placing it somewhere around here. And I'm gonna be mounting it right off the center right here. Okay. All these wires you can you know, tuck it back a little bit just make it nice uh, once you put the cover back on uh, you know all these are gonna be hidden away uh, so next uh, what we're gonna do is take the uh, Ethernet cord that comes with uh, your pilot I'm gonna go ahead and uh, insert that so that we can start the wiring on that next Okay, insert it until you hear a click. You know you got a solid connection there. And the second thing uh, we're gonna do is install uh, the USB-C style connector. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just get this thing pre-routed a little bit. Let's tuck this in. Is out of the way. And my wiring is just going to come off from the side because um, there's no real slot and I don't want to really cut any of this cover up. So again, uh, with the Hyundai it's pretty simple. You just want to get the clip lines, tuck the wires back, just give it a nice uh, firm. There you go. You hear it click in place. USB-C style connector. It's coming off to the top and it's gonna come down to the side. And we have it. 
Uh, I'm gonna reposition the camera now so you can uh, fire up the rest. All right, so we're gonna continue the installation. I'm gonna be running this wire, getting it tucked in to the top. Then uh, so a lot of cars. There's some uh, airbag curtain airbags installed here, and generally you want to not really go around it. So it's easy to just go ahead and pull uh, this uh, trim out, and then this just pops right off. Uh, these. Are not really held in very tightly um, and then this allows you to get to the harness uh, sorry the uh, uh, the back side where you could avoid running the uh, airbag because as you can see in my car uh, towards the bottom here you can see the curtain airbag is right here so I don't I don't want to go in front of it at all uh, you want to be behind the bag at all times all right okay and now I'm uh, behind the airbag, so I'm going to go ahead and thread this through. Okay, once you got that all secured. Continue threading it all the way down, and once you got it down here, uh, you can pop this uh, trim back on and put the rubber rubber cover uh, back on, and we'll continue. I'll reposition the camera to show you what's down here. Okay, so I'm just continuing tucking this back in here until I get to the back of this tree. <clears throat> and I'm actually gonna take this. see the, uh, the wire. I'm gonna run it to the inside but you could run it to the side over here and just have it covered up with the with the rubber the weather trim but I'm gonna have it run inside. All right so uh, I looked around and I uh, found a way uh, uh, the side panel does come off which gives you a lot of room to work with so you could get it the wire passed through in here uh, because we're trying to get down in here where the OBD connection is uh, behind this fuse box cover in the, in the Sunday Ionic And uh, here we go. Get through. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull all of it through because uh, I can tie off the excess uh, down here. You can just take your time. I'm gonna go ahead and put this cover back on. Okay. You can see. Uh, so neatly tucked in and good as new. Okay. And uh, down in here, we're going to take our OBD adapter. Uh, 
and uh, the Ethernet is plugged into the one side. And the rest you can just go ahead and tuck it up here. Just make sure this is seated in all the way. Um, yeah. Now in my case, I'm going to have a situation where uh, my fuse box won't cover up because uh, this sticks out a little too far, so I'm going to have to figure something else out uh, with the OBD uh, connector. I may have to uh, remove it since it's in a harness and just uh, have it up here. But that's how you install the OBD connector. Uh, so yeah, I uh, <clears throat> like to take out the OBD connector. There's just two clips, you just push together and it pops right off. And uh, I then relocated it right there for now. Um, I'll just figure out a way to mount this, maybe double side tape it. But just be sure this is secure, and there it is. Okay. And now this can close back up. All right, now I'm going to take you to mounting the, uh, the actual device. All right, so it's time to install the uh, device itself. And uh, for me, it'll be pretty easy, but uh, ahead of time, you want to mark the center point of your windshield and how far up you would like. Uh, in my case, I have this uh, mirror, and the mirror kind of will give me a guide to uh, go with the center point. And uh, I'm going to have mine mounted right here uh, with the center point from the mirror. And I don't need to give too much room uh, because this pops up pretty easy. The cover will pop up pretty easy, so it doesn't need to be too far away. So I'm going to have it in this area. So go ahead and grab one if you're mounting. Mounts. And of course, check the orientation. sticker the back and you the uh, double sided tape take one of your uh, alcohol wipes and just clean that area where you will be installing the device so mine will be right here dry off the excess alcohol and uh, 